my video for August 1st, 2018 is entitled Mass Ignorance of Current Events. I get really disappointed when I realize the promised changes of a better world may depend on a significant awakening of humanity. Yet I know people who only get their uh, news from ABC, CBS, NBC, and worst of all, CNN. Fox isn't much better. When I talk about some of what I know from exploring the web, some people look at me like I'm nuts. Nothing I'm saying resonates with what is reported to John Q. Public. Of course, the charlatans who have an evil agenda of mass control want it exactly that way. A deluded population is easy to manipulate since they are virtually clueless. To me, the most trustworthy news comes from RT, Russia Today, and other alternative media operations. Yes, of course, one has to be discerning even with that, but at least there is info that gives another point of view. So which current events are true? Is Trump draining the swamp or just another aspect of the same quagmire? Will humanity ever be freed from the tyranny of oppression? Perhaps it's playing out in slow motion. Along with many, I await real change of a positive nature and pray sincerely that such a longing will finally become our reality. Yes, I struggle to try to maintain as positive an attitude as I possibly can. But when I talk to people here in the apartment complex and other people that I meet at various places, so few uh, really know what's going on in the world. And I ask some of them, well, don't you go on the internet? No, I don't have internet. I mean, I hear that from a lot of people, especially retired people in the in the retired co uh, apartment complex, retirement apartment complex that I live in. People just aren't informed. And people that get their news, as I said, from the mainstream media are not being told any anything that's much of an alternative. Uh, even public broadcasting doesn't uh, show much. I mean, they do show some alternative stuff, but not in the political front very much. And so it's very difficult for people to know what's going on. They don't know, most people, that the currency is being revalued, that the dollar, the petrodollar, the fake dollar, the dollar that's backed by nothing, fiat money, is being uh, perhaps challenged with the, uh, with the currency revaluation when uh, they're releasing gold-backed and asset-backed currencies in BRICS nations and various parts of the world, and that pressure is even here in the United States. Uh, and I'm interested in watching what happens with, in Africa because Zimbabwe and the African continent is a wealthy continent, and the Zim will become the dollar or the, the primary currency in Africa under the new a currency revaluation, and it will make a lot of people very, very wealthy, and it will change the the whole uh, essence and and lifestyle of many people in Africa, as many of the people that are running orphanages, for example, and and other things in Africa, are finally able to provide decent shelter and decent food and everything else for the people there in Africa. And as far as decent food, I mean, there are places in the world that they don't have genetically modified food. I think the United States is one of the worst places for food in the whole world because of play, uh, companies like Monsanto that put their Roundup and other genetically, their, 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 their other poisons, they mix it in and create these genetically modified foodstuffs and Russia has the best food in the whole world, from what I'm told. It's true organic food because Russia won't allow that kind of stuff. And 
I'd like to help people in, in Haiti and, and Latin America and Africa. And I'd like to travel to some of these places. And if the Zim actually is released and my note becomes valuable, uh, that, that will be one of the best investments I've ever made in my life. But I intend to also take uh, part in the rejuvenation of my body and the healing of my feet and, and physical things that need to be regenerated. I, I really believe that, that something messed with our DNA because people used to live to be seven, eight, nine hundred years. My Methuselah was 969, the oldest man that ever lived. And he died before his father, who was Enoch and was translated and was not. He uh, was just taken up into heaven. Supposedly, that's the, that's the biblical story. And there's a lot of things, folks, that just don't make sense. When you're trying to figure things out, and you realize that you've been living on a planet that very dark forces with a very evil agenda have been manipulating things for eons of time, then you realize that it's difficult, difficult to determine what is real, what isn't, what is true, what isn't true. It's a challenge to sift through this and you have to learn to trust your gut and your intuition, not always your head. The head and the heart have to work in conjunction with each other and not in opposition to each other, as is generally the case. I mean, if you, if somebody that's all in their head talks to somebody that's trying to pay attention to their heart, they think that they're too emotional and, and weak and or weak-minded and there's all sorts of criticism and there's no communication. We need to get beyond that where we can start listening to each other. We can start uh, finding the highest points in all religions and the parts that are the most uplifting and beneficial for humanity and bring love and truth into a world that has been impregnated with with darkness and with evil and with all sorts of crimes against humanity. And it's been going on, like I keep saying, for a long, long time. And I want to be, make a contribution to the world that would uplift some of these areas and some of these people, just to make a, a, an impression, a positive impression for my own family, even. And my daughter, uh, I learned, you know suffered a loss of a job that she'd been on for many years and apparently the owner of the company had made some mistakes and he started eliminating longtime employees and she ended up finally getting eliminated and, uh, and then she had to take a job where she makes considerably less money than she was making before and so there's financial things there that I'd like to be able to help with uh, and there's just so much going on, folks, that needs to be addressed in our personal lives and in our collective life of humanity. We need to have a real turnaround. We need to have change, not that we can believe in, but actually experience. Obama, Hillary, the Bushes, all of this that went before, it's just horrible what they have done and that they've played along with this dark, these dark forces. And I'm hoping and praying that there's real change and that there is an awakening so that people can finally be told and realize the truth behind a lot of things that have been going on in our lifetime here in the United States and around the world. We need real positive change. And I'm praying for that. And I encourage you to pray for that. And may God stop making excuses and do what was promised in finally bringing the kingdom of heaven to earth. Thank you very much again for listening. As always, I appreciate that very much. Namaste.